this video we're going to look at best buys and we're going to look at how to find out which option is the best value for money. So there's two ways that I work this out. The first one is that I look at the cost per unit. So for instance if I was given six packets of crisps for £1.50, divide the £1.50 by six to find out the cost for one packet of crisps. Um, the other way, and um, that would also work for drinks and so on, wherever, whenever it's milliliters or grams and so on, where you could divide the cost by the amount and it would give you the cost for one gram or one milliliter. Okay, So the first way is to divide the cost by the amount and then compare them for the different options. The second way is to work out the cost for the same amount. So if work out, see if there's a way you can sort of buy the same amount using both options and then see which one's the best value for money. Let's look at a couple of examples to see what I mean. So here's our first question. So it says packets of fish fingers are sold in two different sizes. So you can get a standard pack which contains 12 fish fingers or an economy packet which contains 36 fish fingers. It says which size packet is the best value for money. You must show all your working. So there's two different ways we can do this. Uh, what we can do is we can either find the cost for one fish finger. So if you divide £1.42 by 12 and £4.74 by 36, you'll find the cost of one fish finger. So you can do that, so uh, using a calculator, so you're going to do, um, for the first one, you've got £1.42 divided by 12 fish fingers. So you show that, so you've got um, £1.42 divided by 12 equals um, 0.118 pounds per fish finger. Or in other words, 11.8 pence per fish finger. Okay. Using the other one, we've got um, it's going to cost uh, the cost is four pound seventy four, and we divide that by the thirty six fish fingers. We find this one. If you do four pound seventy four divided by thirty six, you get the cost for each fish finger to be thirteen point two pence. Roughly, I'm just rounding those thirteen point two pence per fish finger. So therefore, uh, because this one's 13.2 pence per fish, uh, per fish finger, and this one's 11.8 uh, pence per fish finger, uh, this option, the standard pack, is actually best uh, value for money. The alternative way to do it, I'll do the other method with black pen, um, is obviously you've got 36 fish fingers here. Well, if you were to buy three of these packets, three 12s is 36. So if you were to buy three of these, so three of those, you would find you would get the same amount of fish fingers. So if you simply just times this cost, the one point, uh, one point for, uh, 42 by three, you can find out the cost of 36 fish fingers using this option. So if you do that, you're gonna do one pound 42 times by three equals four pound 26. And this is probably the method that I would use in a shop, four pound 26. So therefore, because this one is £4.26 for 36 fish fingers and this one's £4.72 for 36 fish fingers, this one's better value for money. And obviously you'd write that in a sentence. Okay, so here we've got another example. It says, a chemist sells a brand of shampoo in two different sizes. You get 250 mils for the small option for £7.50 uh, or you can get the large option, which is 400 mils for £12.80. And it says, which one's better value for money? So, um, using the first method, you're going to divide the cost by the amount given. Now, obviously, this time it's, it's in milliliters. So, what you're going to do is you're going to divide £7.50 by 200 milliliters to find the cost for one milliliter. Normally, whenever it's uh, pounds like this and it's milliliters, I tend to change my pounds into pennies. That way, it just makes it, um, because you're going to be dealing with like one milliliter. So, the cost for that is usually in pennies, or it's easier to consider in terms of pennies. So option one, okay, so for this one, the small option, you're going to do £7.50 divided by 300 or 250 milliliters. So when you divide that, you'll find it's three pence per milliliter. Okay, so this one, it's going to be £12.80 or 12, uh, 1,280 divided by 400. Whenever you do that, you get Twelve pound eighty divided by four hundred is three point two pence. So you get three point two pence per milliliter. Therefore, because this one's obviously cheaper per milliliter, this one's the best option. So the small one's the best value for money. Okay. Now, using the other method, buying the same amount. Um, obviously you can't just times this one by two or by three or so on to get 400 mils. So you're going to have to find a common multiple for 250 and 400. Okay. 
So the 250, uh, if you do the multiples of that, multiples of 250. Uh, 250, 500, 750, 1000, 1250, 1500, 1750, 2000. And if you do the multiples of 400, 400, 800, 1200, 1600, 2000. So you can buy 2000 mils or 2 litres. 2 litres or 2,000 little, uh, two thousand millilitres of both of them and then that, then you could compare the price so to get uh, to, uh, 2 litres what you do is you times this one by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 so if you times this price by 8 and this price by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times this one by 5 you'll get the cost for 2 litres using both options ok so you simply do that so this one £7.50 times 8 60 pound so for two liters two liters costs 60 pound using this option and using this option you would do 12 pound daily times by five and you find this one costs 64 pound for two liters so two liters costs 64 pound so again, this one's the best option. For this particular question, though, I think I would use the first method. Um, just I think it's a lot easier, or a lot quicker. Okay, this time we've got a small bottle of water, which costs 36p, that's 330 mils, and a large bottle of water, which is 2 litres, which costs £1.18. And we've been asked for which one's best value, uh, better value for money. Um, now, because we've got 330 and 2,000 uh, millilitres, I'm just going to write this as 2,000 millilitres, to do the second method, which is finding the same amount, it would be quite time consuming because the common multiple of 330 and 2000 is quite a large number. So I think the easiest way is really to do the first method for this one. So again, just take the cost and divide it by the amount given. So the cost is 36p. We're going to divide that by 330. And for this one, the cost is, change it into pennies, 118. We're going to divide by 2000. Notice how I've changed them into the same units, pence, pence, milliliters, milliliters. Make sure you're dealing with the same things for both of them, okay? So let's do that. So the first option, the small bottle, we've got 36 divided by 330, and you would get, that's equal to, not 0 0.109 pence per milliliter. And this option, obviously, it's you know it's water, so it's quite cheap uh, for each milliliter. And this option is two uh, one pound eighteen or one hundred and eighteen pence divided by two thousand, which equals not point not five nine pence per milliliter. Obviously, though, not point not five pence or five nine pence is cheaper than not point one zero nine pence. This is the better option because it's it's a lower value cost per milliliter. So this is the best option. You just write that.